Hi guys, yes, I'm limping, but it's not running related, but it is gonna put me out of commission for a few weeks. A few days ago, we're doing some cleaning up around the house, uh, getting ready for some concreting work to be done underneath our house, and I suffered a bit of an accident. As we were clearing away some of the rubbish, I picked up an old table which had been sitting on our deck for many months and had perished a little bit. And as I picked it up and was moving it, um, it broke in my hands and the table fell on my feet right across my toes. And anyway, the result is that I've got a crushed fracture to my big left toe. I'm not gonna show you the gory details because uh, it was pretty messy, guys, I can tell you, and there was a fair bit of pain. Yeah, so that fracture is gonna put me out of action for about six weeks. No running whatsoever until then. Uh, but we're not gonna dwell on it. Uh, I'm gonna keep this channel ticking along. There won't be any of my running for a while, but I'm gonna try and make sure that I've got some content there for you to enjoy and hopefully keep their channel just ticking along uh, over the next six weeks until I can get back into running. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you the rest of the runners that I'm coaching as part of that giveaway that I offered on the channel a few months ago. Uh, in the last video you saw Sean, Ange and Andrew and today we're going to see Carl and Christopher and the sixth member of that team, Eddie, who's uh, progressing really well, but we haven't got any footage of Eddie at this stage, but hopefully we'll catch up with him soon. And then a little bit later on in this video, just gonna update you on uh, one of the shoes that I've been using, had been using, I should say now, uh, had been using in my rotation and just give you a bit of an update on it after running 900 kilometers in that shoe. So stick around for that, guys. Just remember, if uh, you do enjoy the channel or the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button to give the video a bit of love. Or even if you are new to watching the channel, please consider subscribing. Would really appreciate that. So guys, here's the remainder of the coaching crew and stick around for that shoe update as well. Hi all, Carl here from the UK. Um, just uh, out on my Sunday long run. Uh, I say long run, it's not that long uh, at the moment because I'm on a sort of a quiet week, rest week. So it's just a sort of a, a six, seven mile easy pace. So I'm out in the country on some easy trails, a few hills, but nothing too terrible. Yeah, everything's going well. My training block, if you remember, is about uh, steady progression to get to a sort of a 10 mile, half a, half a marathon sort of distance. No real dramas. Everything's going fine, no injuries. Uh, up to 26, 27 miles a week and uh, feeling good. Currently running nice and slow because I'm trying to talk to you. I mean, a bloke, I can't go do too, too many things at once. <laughs> anyway, hope you're all well. Speak soon. Right, hello everyone. So this is uh, Chris, the, the guy with the ankle issues. So yeah, I'm feeling that I'm getting better and being helped by Neil and his uh, program that he's made for me. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm usually a guy who could probably make my own training program and, and, and stuff like that. But I find that having a coach that kind of minds my limitations and puts some reins on me uh, is actually helping and uh, also just having someone that I know that I'm being watched uh, and held accountable for my decisions in training uh, and my uh, performance is quite motivating and uh, in, uh, it adds meaning to my to my running so yeah I'm positively surprised by that yeah all in all I, I really find need to be a, a really nice guy and uh, yeah Really happy to have him as a coach. Now, if you've been following along with the channel for a while, you remember a few months ago that I made an attempt at trying to do some shoe reviews. Well, let's be honest, that was an absolute train wreck. 
So rest assured, I'm not gonna put you all through that again. But from time to time, I'd like to talk about some of the shoes that I've got in my rotation. And the one I wanna talk about today is definitely in my top two shoes for 2020, the Asics Glide Rides. These shoes I've had for quite a while now, uh, approaching 900 kilometers in them, which is, I'd say about 550, 60 miles. The shoes are still in my rotation. They haven't got the pop that they had, obviously, uh, early on in their life, but I'm still using these shoes to run, you know, 10 or 12 kilometers, anything longer than that, and I find that they seem to get a little bit tired. Now, the Asics Glide Ride, along with the Asics Nova Glass, are my two favorite shoes of 2020 so far. These shoes have been fantastic. I've used them in everything from five kilometer time trial right through to a marathon long run. And if you look here, if you can see this on the outsole, shows very little wear. And for a shoe that's done you know, almost 900 kilometers or 560 odd miles and still feels good enough to use for a 10 kilometer run uh, is pretty good. So that is why. Ta da! I've gone back and pretty well packed Asics. So that is why I went back to the glide rides again. Couldn't resist going back and getting another pair. Really enjoyed running in these shoes so much that uh, I really had to dive in and get another pair. So putting these in the rotation really soon, but also another pair. The Asics Evo Ride. Now, straight away I can feel that these are a lot lighter than the Glide Rides, but really keen to get these into the rotation as well and see what they're like. I'll let you know how these shoes perform. I'll probably do like 100k or so in them, 60 miles, and then uh, just give you a bit of feedback. But really must say too that Asics have lifted their game in recent times with shoes. Really do enjoy running in those Glide Ride and the Nova Glass. The Nova Glass now are my go-to shoe for any long runs. The Glide Rides were just a really jack of all trades type of shoe that uh, I could use from those shorter distances right through to the longer distances. But really looking forward to uh, having a run in these Evo Rides as well to uh, see how they go. So stay tuned guys and I'll let you know how they perform after about that 100k 60 mile mark. There you go guys, just a short video this week. Uh, not dwelling on the injury, this is all about running, supporting everybody out there and hopefully providing some good content going forward. So guys, stay safe out there, happy running and I'll catch you in the next video. Hey.